it's cold today, but I've managed to drag myself out and two other people. Uh, they're not quite here yet, so we're going to hit the spot, uh, see if we can save any more history uh, before the freeze sets in, probably in the next couple of weeks, and uh, then there'll be no digging whatsoever until next year. First silver of the dig is right here. Wasn't coming in really high on my e-track. Let's check the date on it. 1961. Arnie and Scotty are here now. They've been here uh, about 15 minutes. But that's the first silver for today. This spot we're at, this is silver number 58 from here. So we want to get to 60. We need two more. So let's keep moving on. That's a first. I think that's a token. Yeah, it looks like it. And, uh... 1814, 1812, something like that. Well, if we're lucky, maybe we can get a date off it. You want to have a look at it? Yeah. Now, I've heard of that with, uh, you know, Spanish silver. Yeah. But I've never, ever dug, a, like, a colonial copper cut coin. Yeah. This, I don't know. This doesn't look like it was intentionally cut. I don't know. Well, you know, a couple hundred years ago, things were pretty crude, too. You want to... Or I got a toothbrush if you want to wipe it off. I'm not really seeing. Oh, actually, I'll give it a quick brush. It. I'm not going to lose my gloves for too long. No, it's got the thickness of. But I, I'm pretty sure it's a coin. Yeah, it looks like it. It's the right thickness for it, like those tokens. Well, it's absolutely the right thickness for colonial. Uh, nothing much coming off of that side. Hmm. I do see something there. It might come through eventually. Yeah. But uh. It's gonna need some work. Eh? Yeah. I'm, Just but I'm sure it's a coin. Yeah, it looks like. It'd a, be nice to be able to get something off it. Looks like there might be something on this end right here. Well, your eyes are much better than mine. I can look at. It. I want to get back the truck under a loop. Yeah, and then have a better look at it. Um, to tell you the honest truth, this looks, uh, honestly, this almost looks like, uh, this looks like mid 1700s to tell you the honest truth, man. Look at the top there. You can see a little bit of a top of a bust right out where my finger is here. It's really hard to make out. There is some letters on this side right here. But very, very difficult to make out. Uh, the bust looks like it's facing left. There is a bust on there and there is some writing. Deciphering what it is is a whole other story. We only have a bit of hope on this corner here in the bust, but that's a nice score, man. Congratulations. Oh, thank you. Yeah, that's uh, really so nice. It's facing left. Yeah, it's uh, facing left could for be sure. George the first. Yeah. Which would make it early 1700s? It could be, yeah. I've, it looks familiar to, I, I got a couple of early 1700 coppers myself. The bust looks, it looks sort of familiar, the very top of it does. But anyway, we're going to look at this probably a little bit later and get some information. I might not be able to get the information while we're doing the video here and the dig, but uh, I'm sure when I, uh, when we get back, uh, they can look into that and let me know. Anyway, let's keep moving, guys. Was it? It's right in there. Uh, yeah, probably seven inches. Yeah. yeah that's a large sign, all right. Do you mind if I have a look at it first? Sure. Oh, go ahead. Thanks, buddy. Oh, it's a oh, George. KG five. Yeah. It's in good shape. I'm not a big fan of rubbing these things. No, it's. So it was Queen Victoria. That's a little different. Different, different, yeah. Uh, 1917, buddy. All right. Yeah, it's a nice score. Yeah, 1917. It looks like it's going to come out in good shape on both sides. Yeah, well, the soil here is pretty good. It it's is, isn't rope. it? Yeah, exactly. Nice score, man. And then... 
Well, this might be an interesting piece to research. I think I could use that. You might be able to. Well, I always wanted a tiger. Let's crank the most large center there. You might have to really? just clean it first. Right on. Tie clip. Scotty, just got that. That's a nice score. Very nice. We'll clean this up. If we do a uh, wrap up later on, we'll show you guys. Yeah, it is. That's a penny. What was it hitting on the uh, the AT Pro AT there? AT Pro, it was a DEG all day long signal 9092. 9092? That's about as good as it gets. Well, look right down there, guys. That's a chunk. It's big and it's copper. Yep. Ooh, it's a freaking, it's the same charge token. That's it's a penny. Yep. It's a large penny token. Yep. <laughs> Look at that one. Wow. Oh, good shape too. That's an awesome shape. There's a date right there. 1830. 1850 or 30? 1850, what? 1850. Yeah, it's yeah. not 1830, it's 1850. 1850, probably. Ooh, look at a good, nice Look at that, that'll come out in nice shape. Yeah, it is oh, coming yeah. out really nice. Oh, yeah. That's gonna clean up really nice. Ooh, nice fine. Oh, yeah, one penny. Bank oh, token. Good. Yeah. Bank of Upper Canada. Yeah, I don't know if, I think 1950 was the first year for these, to tell you the honest truth. I found oh, a 52. Upper Canada bank tokens? Yeah, yeah. 1950. So I found a 1952 Upper Canada token, same one. Sweet. Sweet. Nice yeah, this is going to clean up really good. I'm not going to clean it any more than that, but. Yeah, feel, yeah. Nope, no, just let it dry out. It'll yeah, for sure. Really 1950. Nice. 1850. 1850. 1850. Jeez, I'm stuck in the 1900s. Yeah, no, well, there you go. You joined the 1800 club today. Yep, sure did today. That's a nice score. That's a big chunk of copper. That's a sweet find. Nice. We're off to a pretty good roll here. We got the large scent. We got this. We got a cut copper. We got some silver. Scotty, what do you got? Toddy, got a, Scotty's got, got a, a tie clip. He's got a tie <laughs> clip, so. <laughs> it's a bunch of nickels. Yeah. He's better dressed than what we are. <laughs> Who cares, man? You can get better dressed. I'm good with this stuff. All right, let's keep moving, guys. Let's see what else we can uh, save here. Well, just after digging that large penny, I ended up getting a mid-tone. Take a look at that. This is only about two feet away. I've already cleaned it up a little bit, but look at the design on the top of that. Now that's cool. That's, uh, that's mid-1800s, early 1800s. That's a sweet score. That's the bottom of a spoon. That's an old spoon for sure. Could, it lo almost looks like it's got a bit of a lead color. On the AT Pro, uh, it was scanned. It came up as uh, mid 60s, so that's a nice that's a nice save. Anyway, let's keep moving on. Let's see what else we can get. Well, I ended up uh, taking a pretty deep hole here, and at the very bottom, you can see right there, just a buckle. It's an oldie. Uh, just a buckle. Oh. It's a nice one. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Still got the iron pin in it. Got a yeah, just a small one. Nothing huge. That's a nice score. This was ringing in like silver. Had a little bit of depth on it too. So we're heading down uh, a bit of a hill here, and then we're off to another location that's really close to where we are right now. So we ended up pulling uh, seven silvers, six silvers from this spot in less than an hour. So we're going to head there and see what we can come up with. It looks like it's Dutch. It, it almost looks a little bit smaller than a dime. 1957. I'm going to end up losing this. Yeah, just don't ask Arnie to find it. He can only locate uh, bottle caps on that AT Pro right now. That's a nice little score. Bottle cap, Arnie? Well, we got silver number 59 from this site. It's right in there. Let's see if we can get a date on it. Looks like a 1960. And 
that would be Elizabeth there. Well, this could be the 60th silver we got out of here. Oh yeah. Definitely silver. This does look old. Yeah, it's definitely silver. And it's definitely American. Hopefully it's... It's a uh, D mint mark. I'm going to flip her and we'll see yeah. what date it is. Is she a Rosie? 1944. It's a Washington 44. Washington. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's a nice score. That is a nice score. Man, Arnie, this was Arnie's, uh, sorry, Scotty's spot. I thought he said he went around these trees, so I kind of went in here to try to bottom feed. Unfortunately, now I miss, uh, misunderstood. He had not been around these trees. Well, that's cool. That's all cool, right, man. <laughs> but hey, that's all right. That's a silver. Another a one silver. we scored. Yeah. Number 60. Number 60. And obviously, there'll be more. But that's a really nice save. Let's keep moving. Scotty, you got to pick up your game, bud. I know. So, I'll leave you alone. No, you keep going around these, man. <laughs> All right, guys, let's keep moving. Well, this signal wasn't super strong. It was actually, uh, it came up beside another plug. I'm guessing either I was here or somebody else. It's right there. It's actually a nickel. But look. It's one of the older ones. These are really nice nickels. Right down to the bottom, 1934. Sorry, the lighting's really bad. Here, 1934. I'm going to have to clean that off a little bit better after. But yeah, this is one of the older nickels. These are really, really nice. Yeah, it's really muddy too, so it's kind of hard to clean these off. But anyway, nice score. Well, I got a really good sounding signal in here. I've already dug the plug. Let's see what it is together. Hopefully I'm right. And it is, you can see the edge right there. Uh, right in here. It's a quarter. It's a quarter? Yeah. All right. Oh, it's more like a quarter now. I think that's uh, number 59. No, nope. you're behind, buddy. This is 61. 61? You well, missed you out too. <laughs> yep, I dug a 1960 behind me and a 1944 American Quarter oh, just to my right. Double you. I know. Well, there's no point yelling at you. You can't hear me. Oh. You're so focused on digging one of those uh, old toys you're looking for. But there you go. That's 61. And it looks like a 1950. 1950 did on. Sweet. Nice find. I'm pretty sure. I am pretty sure. Oh yeah, that's a silver. Congrats, man. You're on the board. Yeah. Okay. I think it's an Elizabeth, isn't it? It must have just made it. Oh no, it's a young one. Not, not, that's Elizabeth. Well, there right, you can. You're going to have to tell me what the date is, because... Uh, sure. It's a nice date. It looks like a 1956 or a 58. There's a little bit of a scratch down it. Well, I may have tickled it. Yeah. That's all right. I'm sure she didn't mind. It wasn't on her front end. It was on her back end. Here's another silver, 62. And counting. You know, if we hit this place pretty hard next year, do you think we could double that? 124? 124 silvers out of, <laughs> like, that's unreal, eh? Well, you know, we've it's, had, it's possible. We've had sites where we dug over 20 a couple times this year. Not yeah. Not this one. Cool. So anything is possible. Nice, buddy. You're on the board. Got loony. Yeah, you got quite a bit there, eh? A little bit of a haul. Not too shabby. I got a couple more copper pennies. I got a an American dime. It wasn't silver. There you go. Jeez, look at that. Check that out. Yeah, I see that. Man, you just dug that sucker over there, just, eh? Just dug it up. Nope, I got another dime. Wow. And then I got. I said no, no. Nope. That's I, sweet. I'm guessing half a franc, 1921. Yeah. Uh, it definitely looks silver. 
Oh, it's it's without a doubt. The other silver. side looks friggin' awesome. Look at that. I thought at first, when I first looked, I thought it was the Sea of Liberty. Yeah, like, oh, for God. sure. Wow. That's cool. Nice. Nice score. Man. I'm glad we're finding this stuff today. We need we need a good hunt before the winter sets in, eh? Oh, we're going to have another good couple of good hunts. Oh, yeah. Sweet. That's awesome. Man, two for you. That's not quite the find of the day, but it probably ranks right up there. I'd say it's... Just because it's so unique. And the dates, 1921, well, that's nice. Nice piece of silver. It's, uh... I don't know if, uh... It's... Let's just say it's in the top three. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> For sure. Nice job, buddy. Pretty nice, eh? Yeah, that's awesome. Right, okay. Good job. Arnie's got a... On my E-Track, 1147, 1047. What is it on the AT Pro? AT Pro, it's an 88 to a 90. 88, 90. Well, that's, uh, well, that's a, I'm, I think I'm with you, Jason. I think it's a silver quarter. Yeah, I but think it, so, too. It could be a ring. It could be. Oh, no, there it is. Oh, holy crap. Oh, oh, did I hit it? No, it doesn't look like it. Oh, that's freaking close. Now I can go home and have a bologna sandwich. Well, you, oh, know, yeah. you know where you have to go before that, right? Yeah. That's a sweet score, 1958. <laughs> nice score. Look at get out of here, Scotty. Freak <laughs> sakes. We're trying to video here and take a look at the quarter by right. scanning around her so, feet. Our second Washington today. Yeah, Can nice. you believe it? Unreal, eh? Yeah, All right, nice. guys, let's do the wrap up. Scotty, we're going to start with you first. All right. It shouldn't take very long. <laughs> we'll try to maximize what he has here, guys. Yeah. Yeah. Netherlands, real sweet piece of copper there. This is really small. It almost looks, it's smaller than a dime. This was uh, 1957, I believe. Yeah. Yep. I've never seen one of those before. Look at this little piece. No clue what this is. If anybody has an idea. Could be in a sketching or just something, a piece of furniture or something like that. I don't know, this round piece is a little different. Look at this bracelet here. That's gold, I think, isn't it? <laughs> um, not, quite. No, not quite. No, I don't think it is. Maybe next time, Scotty. Um, yeah, that's kind of cool. Did it? <laughs> There's that tie clip. You'll be wearing this probably tonight, right? Yeah. That's a really nice. That's a really nice piece of jewelry there, if that's what you want to call it. That's real sweet. You have to do some research on that and figure out what that's all about. Very nice. Um, lots of clad. Yeah. Yeah, Clyde type day. There's some George pennies in there too. Yeah, actually, Is that... I got weedy in there too. Oh, really? Somewhere. There's an 85 quarter. Uh, junk. We always take our junk. That's a nice haul. That's a lot of stuff. Each one of these things is a whole. A little bit of a clip there. Cool. All right, we're going to move on to my stuff here. Uh, we got some silvers. We'll start with this stuff first. Um, there's that 1950. Yeah, that's cool. 1944. There's that 1934 uh, nickel. Those are really nice. Um, two silver dimes here as well. Um, this one I believe is a 61. This one here is a 1960. So we got five silvers there. There's that large copper penny. That's sweet. Yeah, this was a nice score. If this was ringing up the, the 9091 on the AT Pro, it was hitting up really high on my E-Track too. Dates at the bottom here, 1850. So that's 100 and, 168 years old right there. That's a nice save. Uh, dog tag right there, 1990 something. Here's the spoon piece. That's really cool as well. Look at the intricate design at the top. That's really nice. That was found close to that large, uh, the large copper we have there. Um, whose bullets are these? Those mine. aren't mine. No, oh, mine. these are Scotty's. Yeah. Three bullets, nice. Here's an old wheel. I think that's an old wheel off a toy. Uh, buckle, you guys saw this come out of the ground, just a nice little small buckle. I don't know how old it is, this piece right here. I don't know about this piece right here. It's gotta be 1800s, I'm sure. Uh, flashlight, you guys didn't see that. That came up really, really high uh, on the E-Track and the uh, AT Pro as well. Scotty, uh, he did tell me ahead of time it was a long target, so he's right where that's concerned. A uh, whole bunch of pennies too, as usual. Um, so that's my haul. Uh, Arnie, that's a lot of trash. 
A lot of trash. A lot of trash. Do you have anything good here? Oh, he does. Three bullet casings. Um, Canuck, Dominion, made in Canada. One, two, three. I'm not sure what that little thing is. World's smallest button. Yeah, it looks like it. To wear a button or something. <laughs> you could wear that with your uh, tie thing that you got. Some silvers too. Look at Arnie's yeah, silvers. Silver. You got a slow start, Arnie, but you came back pretty good. Um, it's like the other day. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And same spot as well. Yeah. That's a 56 or a 58. I'm not 100% sure. Look at that, 1921. We think it's French. Half a franc. It's a really, really nice find. Sure that's five cents. Think that could be find of the day there. It's just unique. You don't find stuff like this too often. There it is, same size of, as a Canadian dime. This is an American dime. Nice silver find here too. He pulled this one out the last uh, in the last uh, half hour. He was in my spot. Yeah. No, I snagged a 44. <laughs> that was our number 60 silver. The 44 was uh, 1917 large cent. This is a nice score too. This was, you know what? This was in the same area as that spoon and that large copper, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. It's all on the hill. Nice. Here's this clipped copper. Um, it probably has been clipped. I mean, for a lawnmower to hit it, it would have to be close to the surface or on the surface. So with that being said, it's probably been cut. We think it was, uh, what, George the First, right? Yeah, George From what we could like kind of make out. It's facing uh, left, so George, George yeah. the Second faces left too, though. Hmm, really thin. I don't think, it, it's not a token. It's It's got a little bit more weight than the uh, the commercial tokens. So it's probably a British, something British for sure. Um, Copper pennies, Looney. Yeah, he's got a gold coin right there. I got one of those the other day. Um, nickels too, he's got four of these. Those don't come around too often either. So those are the octagon ones, probably all in the 60s, eh, Arnie? Uh, 50s, 60s. 50s, yeah. 60s, sweet. So that's it, guys. That's uh, pretty much the haul for the day. That's a that's a lot of stuff, and we've we've killed this spot over and over again. It just never stops giving. Silver wise, what are we at? What do we say? We're at 54. Uh, Not 54. 64. 64. We're at yeah. 64 silvers from here. And uh, if the weather cooperates, we might be back. But if not, it will be in the spring. Anyway, guys, from... I don't think we can see you because the sun's right behind you. Scotty, thanks, buddy. Arnie, cheers, buddy. Yep, and we'll see you guys next time out.